Yeah, at least some showers and yeah, some rumbles of thunder as well. We've got a couple of storms, not severe, but they are up over the Virginia border right now around Martinsville and Danville out there across the triad. You probably just noticed some clouds kind of passing through, at least for now. The rain will be moving in shortly. There is the view over Sartown Mountain earlier today and then bringing us up to date. And again, I do think we will still have some wet weather in the forecast this evening, especially late evening hours. That 9, 10 o'clock window does look to be kind of wet across our area. We are warm out ahead of this cold front, right? We've got temperatures that are in the low 80s, 80 degrees Winston-Salem and Lexington, 81 in Burlington and Asheboro. It's a little bit cooler with some low 70s in Mount Airy and Martinsville. Those are some areas where we have already had at least a little rain. We've been watching the dew points real closely, and I was hopeful for our sake that we would keep those dew points out of the 50s, and especially out of the mid to upper 50s, and we've done that for the most part. We keep that moisture down. We could keep the intensity of the storms down as well. So we'll be keeping a close eye on that. Notice in that northeastern area though, that's where we have those higher dew points and that's also where we're anticipating that we might have an isolated severe thunderstorm pop up and damaging winds and hail would be the biggest. Now impact day for most folks means there's going to be a little bit of wet weather around like I was talking about. The scattered showers that will likely come in with this front this evening and probably start to taper off some overnight toward tomorrow morning. There is that small risk for a strong to severe thunderstorm to develop and it's in this area right here, that marginal risk zone. And you're seeing some of the storms there, especially up over the Virginia border, that are starting to at least grow a little bit. There's been some flashes of lightning with it from time to time. We're not getting a whole lot of rain over the southern triad just yet or the foothills, but that will come later. We'll take you a little farther to the north where we do have that one thunderstorm there that appears to be uh, intensifying just a little bit there east of the Witt community, northeast of Danville and over towards south Boston. We work our way back to the west and this one has been weakening as it's moved from Stewart to Martinsville, but some heavy downpours definitely with this. Some lighter rain from Danbury over to Reed and aside from that, really not much rain on the radar in our area. We still have a similar forecast to yesterday with that damaging wind on the low end at 5%, but still possible. Also that chance for at least some hail in that marginal risk area. And right now it doesn't look like tornadoes would be a risk for us from any storms that do develop. I do think there'll be some heavy downpours later on tonight. You might get a rumble or two of thunder. And yes, there's the possibility for an isolated severe storm. So if you look at the 12 hour forecast, it's going to show you the clouds in white and then the forecast rain in blue and yellow. So about seven o'clock tonight, you're getting some showers around and then notice by about nine, 10 o'clock, we do start to get some of those heavier downpours kind of pushing through the area. And then we'll watch for that rain to kind of taper off and thin out by tomorrow morning. I'll keep in a small rain chance in the morning, but then we're looking at some sunshine in the forecast for your Thursday. It'll be a breezy day with Northwest winds. Some drier air is going to be moving in here. So less humid air in the forecast. Temperatures get knocked down a bit with highs only in the upper 60s, 69 in the Piedmont up to 67 tomorrow afternoon in the foothills. And the mountain forecast has a small rain chance in the morning and then those temperatures climbing into the upper 50s by late day. We've got another very comfortable day for you on Friday. Check that out, 69 and sunny with a little breeze. Our next storm system may actually move a little farther to the south. And if we can keep it down over the Gulf Coast, our rain chances will keep going down but we'll keep a close eye on that for the weekend.